Hi, this is John Klubnik. This is today's ACT training snippet. And today we're going to cover lookups. And um, a lookup in ACT basically means that we're trying to find somebody. We're going to filter our list. Maybe I want to find everybody who is a customer, everybody who's from New York, everyone who has an email address or does not have an email address. And um, this is the essence of data mining. Once we have our contacts into ACT, now we need to be able to get them out or, or quickly find them so that we can do things. Doing a lookup is a predecessor to labels, envelopes, reports, letters. Um, all of these things need to be uh, require us to do a lookup first. Otherwise, what you end up doing, if we go to lookup and, for example, all contacts, it, without knowing how to do a lookup, you end up doing those things to, to every contact, printing out labels to 199 people when maybe you only want 50 sending letters to 200 people when you only want 20 or 30. So doing a lookup is, is very important um, that we do that first before we're able to do um, other things. Um, it's, it's data mining and ACT. And, and basically there's three areas of the ACT screen that we'll talk about real quick. Um, for example, first thing is the, is the new view bar on the left hand side. We've got a lookup window right here. If I wanted to find um, Melissa Pierce all I've got to do is just type in Melissa P and it takes me right to her. And that is nice and easy if I want to find Lance. Type in Lance's name and it goes right to Lance. This is new in 2010 ACT and a great feature. If you want to look through a different field, you can select these here. But primarily the contact field, as long as it contains something in that. Like if I want to find all of the Melissa's, here I'll find I have two of them. But if I want to find all of the lances, I just have the one. Um, next thing I want to do is, is, is I'll show you how to do a lookup by right clicking. And this can be done, for example, over on the ID status field. I can right click, and you'll see at the bottom left it tells me the field name, lookup ID status. And this gives me a little bit more options. Number one, because I right clicked on the field, the ID status field shows up, and I, I don't have to select a different field. So you should never have to click on this down arrow. Number two is the criteria. We've got a whole bunch of them here. Contains, contains data, does not contain, does not contain data. Um, so just a lot here. We're going to stick with contains in this case. and We want to find everybody who is a customer. So I can choose from the drop down or I can type in anybody that has a custom customer in the field called ID status. We click OK. Now I see I've got 59 of these. Great. Now let's say I just want to find the customers who were in New York. Well, in that case, I want to do what is called narrowing a lookup. So I already have 59 contacts, as I can see right here. I want to narrow, and those, are, those 59 are all of my customers. I want to narrow that by just those who are in New York. If I right-click on the field called State, choose Lookup State, type in NY for New York, and on the left-hand part of the Lookup Contacts window, I choose Show More Options, and I want to choose to narrow my lookup three options here. Replace lookup, add to lookup, narrow lookup. We're going to choose narrow and we'll click OK. And so my 59 contacts drop to three. These are the three people who are both customers and from the state of New York. The last way we can do lookups is under the lookup menu. And all of these really get us the same thing. It's just kind of a matter of personal preference which you might look for. But in this case, let's say I want to find everybody in my database that does not have an email address. I go to the lookup menu, I go to email addresses, and I want to say does not contain data. And then you'll see I've got 94 that do not have email addresses. These might be candidates for a snail mail campaign rather than an email campaign. Other things under the lookup menu you might like to see. Um, Look up my record. We'll talk about that on another one. But the my record is the user record for you as a user, and you want to make sure that that is correct. Um, the previous button. This shows me all of my lookups that I've made, the nine most recent lookups. And so, if I need to go back, remember we did a lookup ID status on customer. There's the 59 that we chose. Remember we did an ID, a lookup ID, a lookup on Lance. There's the one Lance that we came up with. So it, it's kind of a a breadcrumb trail lets us go back in time and see what we have looked up in the past. Um, looking up's huge. We're, we're going to talk more about this in other snippets, but 
um, for right now once you've got your data into ACT data mining finding the data that you need can be accomplished via a lookup this is John Klebnik today's ACT training snippet on lookups